rays of the sun and the slag lighting. Moped Diaries number two, it's happening. We're gonna explore my home city of Seattle, Washington. I've been living here for about two years and I'd like to think that I know a thing or two about the city now. I wanna show you the, the top five attractions for me personally and for a lot of tourists as well. We're gonna talk about the history. We're gonna see some beautiful things together. And it's gonna be great for me, Tim Wilkins, 30 years old, probably making videos that he'll look back on and say, I was, I was young once and look at me, what a lovable guy. Okay, so this is the Fremont Troll, a very popular icon in Seattle. This troll came about because of a 1990s art competition. This area used to be overrun with crime and nefarious characters and drug dealers. As a ploy to beautify something that was ugly, they held this competition and the winners would be able to insert their piece of art in this area. So four people sculpted this masterpiece it weighs 13,000 pounds, it is 18 feet tall, and it is derived from Norwegian and Scandinavian folklore, the, the troll under the bridge. In its left hand, it holds a Volkswagen with California license plate, which is where I'm from. I'm not sure if that's a passive aggressive Seattle thing, but we'll just assume that it's not. And uh, it's a great uh, sculpture to have a staring contest with. So we're now entering into Gas Works Park. This park is an attraction for locals and tourists alike. As a tourist, you get to see this beautiful panoramic view of the city and all these interesting gas structures, and it's just a really interesting layout. But for locals, it's also a point of celebration. The 4th of July goes on here, and you can see the Space Needle over here, but during the 4th of July, it's just this whole sky is lit up with fireworks. It's pretty epic. There's also all kinds of concerts held here. Uh, I saw Shakespeare here, height flying competitions. There's right now, there's somebody taking their wedding pictures. See, it's no joke, man. So that was Gasworks. Now let's head on over to the Space Needle. So I am looking up right below the giant, most iconic, Thing in Seattle, AKA the Seattle Space Needle. Erected in 1962 for the World Fair as an attraction for the city. Um, very cool, very cool thing. One day maybe I'll actually pay the $40 to go up the elevator. Okay, let's get moving to our next attraction. Finger guns. So we're gonna go to Narration Tim here. This is Elliott Bay. It runs parallel to Pike Place Market. And this piano guy, by the way, that was playing, he's there every day. So if you come to Seattle, you'll see him. I'm walking down Pike Place Street right now. I'm checking out local artists. That guy's walking in front of me and he's get out of my way. This is the first Starbucks ever. Um, people will line up for miles to get a taste of that sweet first Starbucks cup of coffee. Now I'm walking through the indoor part of the market. You'll see, again, local jewelers, artists. Be sure to support them when you come here because these guys are not tech bros and they are not making six figures most likely. Next, we are going to go to our final attraction and that is the gum wall. The gum wall is super interesting and also gross. I'm going to let Tim, with bad audio and decent storytelling skills, take over to tell you a little bit about the gum wall. Take it over, you handsome son of a- So this is the gum wall. And 
Basically, all of this gum is outside of a, a theater. In 1999, there was this theater troupe that came by, and I guess they played a good show or whatever it was, and they decided that they should stick gum on the wall and put a coin in it. But it caught on. It totally caught on. And people started putting gum all over this wall, and it, it officially became declared a landmark, a local landmark and attraction in 1999 because there was so much damn gum on these walls. There was some unintended consequences of having gum on brick is that the gum will start to, the sugars in the gum will start to eat away at the brick's uh, solidarity. So that was happening. It was getting really stinky. Uh, it wasn't good. So what they ended up doing is in 2016, they steam cleaned this whole area. This whole area got steam cleaned. In full force, people started putting gum on the wall. Like, it was like, F no, you're not taking away our gum wall. It is now the most it's ever been, and there's just no stopping it. It's disgusting, it's glorious, it's colorful. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I was, I thought about taking a piece of gum and putting it in my mouth, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, folks, so the moral of today's story is that you live in a city, and there's things to discover about your city. There's new ways to fall in love. So go out, learn about your city, and post something for the rest of the world to see so they can see the beauty that you see every single day.